All right, so this is how your petcock works. Um, this is your average petcock from an 80s bike. Um, tons of bikes have these. Uh, if your bike is really old, it might just be a regular on-off petcock, but this one is vacuum actuated. You can tell if yours is vacuum actuated because it has a vacuum line that sticks off the back just like this. This is a little brass nipple that it attaches to. Anyway, inside your tank, you're going to have this straw. Um, the straw is actually kind of a cool thing. When your petcock is on on, like this one is, the, uh, the petcock can only draw gas from above this line right here. That's because there's this straw inside this filter element here, just like that. And it pokes up into the gas tank, so any gas that's below it, it can't access. Uh, that's so that when you're riding along on on or whatever and you start to feel your, your bike run out of gas, um, you can switch it to reserve. Now switching it to reserve, RES, allows the petcock to draw from all the way down here. Um, these straws are encased in this filter element to keep all the junk out. Um, but so that's how it works, and so that way you know you have between here and here's worth of gas to uh, get to a gas station, you know. Um, your repair manual can tell you exactly how much it is, usually it's maybe like a third of a gallon or whatever. Um, the third setting is prime, it does not stand for primary, it just stands for prime. What that does is it takes gas from the same level as reserve, but it does not require that the, uh, the vacuum operation be operational. Basically it just lets gas flow out, flow out, and that's for, it's really only for refilling the carbs after you've serviced them, or maybe if you totally run out of gas and you need to fill the, the carbs back up. Um, if you're running around on prime, then you should probably fix your petcock if you can. Now this is the back of the petcock. It, um, it houses the little diaphragm in here uh, with a little uh, plunger which moves up and down when vacuum is attached to it. Uh, or vacuum is applied to it, rather. Um, vacuum is applied through a uh, small vacuum line, which goes directly to the, uh, the intake manifold or uh, some part in the carbs that has vacuum. Um, therefore, whenever the bike is running, that is the motor is turning over, this little valve in here opens up and it allows gas to flow um, when the petcock is on on or res. If, um, if the, the engine shuts off, then theoretically, the, uh, the petcock should shut off, even though um, the, you know, the petcock might still be on on or on reserve, just like that. Um, that is to, uh, to prevent you know, flooding of the carbs in case your, uh, your float needles get dirty or whatever. Um, and uh, it's just sort of a little redundant failsafe to, um, to help protect your carbs and help uh, protect against overflow. Now, if you have a healthy pet cock, um, it should not leak out not even one drop when you're on reserve or on on and uh, the engine is not running, i.e. no vacuum. So not even one drop. Um, that's, what, uh, that's what I try and shoot for whenever I restore carbs um, and, and pet cocks and whatnot. If it's on prime, obviously gas should just flow and flow and flow freely. All right, so this is the little experiment that I've set up uh, to indicate how a petcock operates. Uh, you can see I've just sort of glued the petcock uh, down inside of a um, the bottom of a Tupperware, and um, so I can fill it up with water, and we can see how it flows. On the vacuum line, I have my vacuum pump. Um, I'm just using it now so that I can continue to talk to you guys while I do this. Um, Normally I just really suck on the hose. Nothing's going to come out of the hose and you can easily suck on it and provide enough uh, vacuum suction to open the valve. So that's how you can test yours at home without a, uh, a vacuum pump. But, uh, so now we're going to start this up. I'm going to fill up the tank. And I filled it up above the level of, um, of the, the on hose. And so it is dripping a little bit because 
<laughs> it's just sort of jankety together. But as you can see, when I apply suction, fuel starts to come out. Not an amazing pressure because we're just right at that level there. But it opened up. And you can see the water now is right at the level of the uh, of the on hose right there. So if this was gas and if this was inside a bike, my bike would be starting to, to sputter out and I'd be thinking to myself, whoa, I'm you know running low on gas. So I'll switch it over to reserve, apply the suction, and now we're getting plenty of fuel flow. And you can see the level of the, the gas is going down as it all sort of pours out. And so that's how that works. Now, you see this old petcock here is still continuing to dribble after I've released all the uh, all the vacuum. That means that it's got some problem, either the diaphragm inside is dirty or um, the little plunger piece has a bad gasket on it or whatever. Um, so it is, it is in need of some service. Now, I've got no vacuum on. So effectively, the bike is off in this demonstration. And if we switch it all the way over to prime, you can see that the gas will run even with the bike being off. So those are the three settings of the Petcock. That's how they work. Uh, hopefully this was informational to some of you guys and it helps you diagnose your pet cut problems.